Okay, so we're in standard tuning, we're in the key of G. So there are certainly, you know, there are a lot of guys on YouTube that could probably teach you, you know, scale stuff a lot better than I could. I just play in the same. I showed a video in A the other day on playing off the chord. So this is my G chord, but we're going to kind of be concentrating on this G chord. So if you're sick of playing in, you know, like I play a lot of stuff in the key of E, I play a lot of stuff in the key of A. I play in open tuning, open G, open D, open D minor, um, whatever. Um, but if you want to add some different stuff, I'm just going to show a couple little things in the key of G. Ideas. So basically all I'm doing is I'm just doing an alternating bass, very slow, and I'm going. So I'm hitting this string open, uh, the E string. So all I was doing here was doing the open bass, it's just pinches, so I'm pinching while I'm hitting both of the end points. And I'm not always doing that. Like you can, there's, if you're in your G chord, there's all these notes that you can play in the G chord if you're holding your G chord like this.
around with all of those. I'm just going. string here at the second, uh, the third fret, second string, I'm going and then into my D7. So this is my D7 here. And you can alternate, you can use these notes. You can use this note. C7, same thing. will sometimes go and then hit that top note. So I'll go. Now this time I'm fingering it differently instead of fingering my G chord like this. I'm hooking my thumb. I've showed this in, in previous videos before, but it bears repeating because it's an interesting technique. Because it gives me access to the notes up here. So I can go. something different for the D because I did go instead of going from this D Mississippi John Hurt by uh, sometimes you can make up a bass. So even though this is an A note, I'm deadening it. I'm going. I'll try it again. D, C. Okay. So there, there are all these notes you can play with in each one of these chords. So D7. You can play with all of these, same as your C7, and in your G, okay, and then you turn around. Sometimes I'll go. I use 
use those notes sometimes too. I'll go from a G. alternating bass thing and I mean there's all kinds of things you can do I mean I'm going but you don't have to do that I mean you can go That's why I had showed that earlier, so that I can access all this up here. So instead of being down here and using these notes, I'm up here using these notes. So I'm going... I showed in the key of A, and I, I know that this is a G7, I don't know, now I will go, you can go like that, follow the G7 all the way down, I don't know what these chords are, but they work too, so you can go. I'm 
doing is a G7. I'm switching from this position with these fingers to doing it with these fingers and adding this. <clears throat> so it's some kind of a diminished. of what I'm playing. I have no idea. I just know they work. That's all I care about. basic sketch of uh, Robert Johnson's song um, Love in Vain which is in the key of G so but it's a constant bass like he's always beating on that bass so now we know alternating in G this is going to be completely different I'm going to go played this song, he did not use, like, I was going. He didn't do that, but these are the chords he used. He didn't do that. So anyway, there are just some basic ideas in the key of G if you want to get out of um, playing uh, in E and A or open tuning. Just something to play around with. Anyway, thanks for watching.